Good morning. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great day. Um, if you did not get my message, then this is probably news for you that Zoom is not working for us today. It wouldn't be a Monday if something didn't go wrong. That's okay. Instead, what I'm going to do is just simply record my lesson for you so that way when we get back together on Wednesday, nobody's behind and everybody's all caught up and where they're supposed to be. I'm going to go through the process of what I want you to do, and then I'm going to, um, and while I do that, I'm going to be sharing my screen, okay? So the first thing that I want you to do is either get your notebook, or I want you to hang out for just a second so I can tell you how to make your notebook digitally. So those of you who want to do your paper notebook are going to first find a notebook, okay? And we're today we are going to set up the first four pages. So the first page is what I want you to do for Friday. I'm in the process of working on mine. This is an all about me thing with Ms. Griffith and all of that. I will upload a video on Friday that tells me, um, that tells you guys what all of these images are. On page two, we're going to put Medieval Europe Notes. And we're going to number it page two. Okay. Page three. And you're going to call this Medieval Japan Notes, number three. And then page four is the Golden Age of China. And you're going to number that four. In the next section in the video, I will show you how to do it digitally. Okay, so good morning. You will go to social studies class. You will go to learning modules. You will then go to day three, review of sixth grade social studies fourth quarter. This is an introduction. And then you're going to go to the day three assignment list. This is all about medieval Japan and Europe. To find your blank, uh, your notebook template, you can use the blank notebook template, which is just the pages. And I'll show you what that looks like. Like you see, this is just the pages of it. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Or you can go to the modified notebook. And here you'll find page labels for the first four pages. This is to kind of help you get set up. So for Friday, like I said, you'll be working on your All About Me page. But we'll worry about this later. This would be where you would take your notes on medieval Europe. Then, here are some questions. You can use this YouTube link to help you answer these. And also, questions on the Golden Age of China notes. It's important to note that regardless of which one you do, you must go to File, then Make a Copy. And rename it with your name so that I can see it and so that way other people can use the same copy. So you can tell that we are supposed to be doing netiquette review but I'm gonna wait. Um, we have already done setting up the notebook and now we're going into the Middle Ages review. Okay so how to take notes. If something stands uh, out 
you want to take a note on it. If it's bolded or underlined, if I say it's important, make sure you have to have a note to take on it. And if it's about vocabulary, take a note. So you should be on your page two, Medieval Europe Notes. So the first part, um, this is part one of a two-part series. Medieval Europe started in 476 Common Era. That means the time that we're in right now, not BC, which is before Common Era. Through the 13th, the 14th, or the 15th century. It depends on who you ask. Okay, origins. The Middle Ages began when the Roman Empire collapsed in, seven, in four, 476. Now, the Roman Empire had been under a lot of attacks and invaded, invaded quite often, and it left the empire weak and in, your, in ruins. A king named Charlemagne took control of Western Europe in 17, in, sorry, in 768, and he would unite it for the next 50 years. In 800, he was crowned the Holy Roman Empire, Emperor by the Pope, and under his leadership, he combined Roman, Christian, and German elements in his society. If you need to pause this video to take a note on it, please uh, do so now. Now, then Europe breaks up. After Charlemagne's death, Europe breaks up into small kingdoms and that are attacked by the Vikings. Now, the Vikings are from Northern Europe in what is now known as Scandinavia. And when they attacked, they destroyed towns, they attacked local armies, they just go and get everybody. Now, these Viking attacks reveal that a new system of organization is needed for the European countries because they thought. Charlemagne's system would just help it establish itself. But no, the Viking attacks said, okay, we need a new system to organize ourselves under. If you need to take a pause in this video to write notes, please do so now. The feudal system, okay? The feudal system defined, since this is your, your vocabulary, is a way of organizing economic, political, and military needs. Now, in this little comic, the king is sitting there and he says that he lives off the fat of the land, which is true. All he does is sit there and rule. The barons will provide money and knights to the king. The knights are hired by the baron. They provide protection service and military service to the baron, while the peasants provide food and some military service to the knights, but not all. The Sorry, if you need to pause to take a note about this, please do so now. All right. So, feudalism is a system of mutual benefit. Going from the top down, every person above grants land to the person below. And then from the bottom up, every person below provides something for the person above. If you need to pause this video, do so now. Feudalism crumbles after that because feudalism creates large manors that become towns and villages and feudalism declines when those towns and trade expands because they create markets for craftsmen, traders, and merchants. If you need to pause this video, please do so now.
So then you're, after you finish that, then you're going to have an assignment. There are, you do have an option here. You can watch the Crash Course World History, or you can look at a website that talks about feudal Japan, either one. As you are watching or as you are reading, you want to find information about these topics about Jap medieval Japanese culture. And take your notes on your notebook, um, just like you did with medieval Europe. If you find something important, like if it's about this topic, then you might want to jot it down. And then your product, I want you to upload your document of notes. You have two ways of doing this. You can either you can either upload the digital notebook by clicking the share button or in your paper notebook, taking a picture of your notebook and uploading it there.